What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be making a cash collector for our tycoon right here. So let's go ahead and get right into that. The first thing that we're gonna go ahead and wanna do is insert a part. With this part, you want to scale it down a bit because this is going to be our little button. So you can go ahead and customize this. However you want to, I'm going to change the brick color to green for now because that signifies that, yes, we are going to be able to touch it. I'm basically going to duplicate this part, scale it down from the top a little bit, and keep in mind that if you can't scale it down too much, that means you go to the Model tab right up here and change your move increment down from whatever it is. Like say you had this on five studs or something, you can just bring this down to the Edo or one. And you can go ahead and not have an increment. So once you have a size that you, like, I'm just going to scale this out a little bit. Just like this. I'm going to make this a gray there. We go and that is a little tiny button base. So now we have our button here. We also want to go ahead and make sure we have a screen for our money displayer. The screen is going to display how much cash we have inside of our money value value inside of our values folded. Well, what we're doing is inside of this dropper, when that drops apart, the part. So bonds on the conveyor belt, which pushes it over here into this little part over here. Now this part destroys that part, but it adds its little cash value into our money value right here. So uh, basically all that we're going to be doing is that whenever the player pushes this button, we're just going to go ahead and transfer the money values value over to the player's cash. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is duplicate this bottom part out a little bit, bring it to the side here, scale it out about right here. So I'm going to bring it up about there, I think. And then I'm going to go ahead and there is a little drop down menu underneath the part right up here. I'm going to go ahead and add in a wedge just like this. I'm going to use the rotate tool to spin it around real quick and feel free. You don't need to copy off my design. You can do whatever you want. To the only important thing is that we have a screen and our button. So just keep that in mind. All right, now we have that. I'm going to scale this up a little bit. Just like this. And I'm going to make this the exact same color as the part underneath it. Next off, we can go ahead and duplicate the bottom part right here, move it up. And let's go ahead and rotate it so that this can go ahead and rest right on the surface. Here, I want to be about the same angle. I believe this is about it, right? It looks right to me. And now we can go ahead and scale this in just like this and change the color. So that's not perfectly even. Once again, if you can't get it to the perfect angle with your current increment on your rotate thing, you can feel free to either turn it off or adjust it in the model tab. Now that looks about right there. We go. That's our screen for now. Now let's go ahead and grab all the parts that we're not going to be necessarily needing press, a cultural and G to group them as a model. And by the way, you shift, click, to grab multiple parts. At the same time, I'm going to rename this model to build just like that. And then we can go ahead and group our build our screen and our button together with Kiddurl and G once again. And we're going to name this to our cash collector, just like that. Now we can change this to our button and this to our screen or display, whatever you want to call it. And here we go. So now inside of our screen, we want to go ahead and click on the plus icon to the right of the select add in a surface GUI inside of that. Go ahead and add in a text label just like that. Now, if you don't see your text label on the thing right here at, all that means it's probably not on the correct face. So that means inside your surface. GUI, you want to go ahead and click on that. Go down over to the face property and change this around, either from back to bottom to left. Whatever face you want to put it on, you want to kind of find it first. Yeah. So my face that I want to be shown is on the top face. And since my screen is rotated, I'm going to basically just rotate this 90 degrees this way and rescale this. 
just like that perfect. And now with our text label, we just want to make sure that the size is set to 1, 0, 1, 0. So that way, it takes up the entire size of the screen, Yasuori the surface UA, and we can set the background transparency to 1 so we can't see it, and then we can change the font. If you want to, I'm going to be using for Doka 1, I'm going to scale the text that's nice and big, and then we can go ahead and just put a like dollar sign and then a zero to indicate that's how much money the player has. And you can feel free to change the color of this to whatever you want to. I think a nice green would go well, so I'm going to be doing that. And then you can go ahead and add in a UI stroke into this text label if you want to as well for a nice little outline around your text. Anyways, yes, this is our cash collector. For now, let's go ahead and get to scripting. So now we have our cash collector complete. We can go ahead and just move this into our main items folder right here because that's what we want to spawn in with our tycoon. So now inside of our scripts, right here inside of our core script. So now we're just going to go all the way down to the bottom of our script right here and let's go ahead and get scripting. The first thing you're going to want to say is our main items dot cash collector dot button dot touched. We're going to connect a function to that. And this function, you're going to take the parameter of Hit one thing we do need to do is up here at the top of our script. Looks great. Let's let's create a new variable. Right here, I'm going to call this local devout the equal to false, just like that. Because we want to add a debounce to our giver. Right here, our cash collector. So that way the player doesn't lag the server or the game or anything like that. So next we're going to grab our player from our hit parameter, basically. So... We're going to say our local player equals to game. Tells. Players get player from character hit. That parent just like that. Then if it is our player and that player does not equal to Niels. Sorry, I can't find the right button. There we go. It does not equal to Neil. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is if our values dot owner value dot dot value equals equals to player then and then. If our player dot character humanoid dot hell is greater than zero, then if our D bounce equals equals to false, then a lot of if statements, but they're necessary. Whereas our or D balance equals to true now and then, we're basically going to grab our main items dot cash collector button hold to brick color. This will be equal to brick color. Hon not sir. Vector three brick color dot in new and then you can change this to whatever brick color you want to so i'm going to be choosing really red next we set our player dot the leader stats dot cash or money value we're going to say dot value and this will be equal to our player dot leader stats dot cash d dot value plus our values dot money value ah uh, dot value oh the nonsense i forgot an equal sign right here so we want to make sure we add that so now that we have basically given the player the money from the money value we want to make sure that we set that money values value back down to zero so we're going to grab our values money value dot value we're going to set that to zero just like that so that way the player can't get infinite money next we're just going to wait about one second i'm going to use task dot dot wait for this because it's basically a more optimized wait i believe and then we just need to set our main items dot cash collector dot button dot brick color and this will be equal to brick color dot new lime green as it was before or whatever color you're using and then we set our d bounce back to false just like that and this is our cash collector there's another thing that we need to do. Now, as the final step, add that script under screen under surface guy and at the text label, which I link to you in the video description. This script ensures that the money value is transferred to the player upon pressing the button. The player receives the cash when they press the cash collector button. Thank you for watching.
In the next episode, we will create dropper upgraders. Until next time.